In an effort to enhance the mitigation of human wildlife conflict in the country, the Agriculture and Forest Ministry will assess an approach initiated by the World Wildlife Fund known as Human Wildlife Safe System Approach. As part of it, the National Plant Protection Center of the Ministry held its first training session on Human Wildlife Safe System and Rapid Assessment tool yesterday. More than 19 officials of the ministry, including those from WWF Bhutan, India and Finland took part in the day-long training. It is towards imparting knowledge on safe system approaches and build capacity of the stakeholders to assess human wildlife conflict and develop practical nationwide solutions. Through this safe system approach, uh, we are trying to actually make the whole system safe for coexistence of human beings and and wildlife. Current practice right now, it has been we just establish electric fencing, and that's not enough. And we need a long, long-term and sustainable solution to human wildlife kind of problem in Bhutan. A land specialist with WWF, Dr. Ashley Brooks, said the human wildlife safe system approach will help understand the human dimensions of human wildlife conflict, rapidly mitigate urgent wildlife problems, and also prepare strategies that will ensure safety of human and their assets, wildlife habitats, and wildlife itself in longer term. At the government level, um, the government can use this approach to have a systematic um, assessment of um, conflict right across the country and you can do it at either the Georg level or the district level and you can have a systematic process which then you can compare across all of the districts and get a really good understanding nationally where the gaps for managing and minimizing conflict. The project will also support 65 kilometers of electric fencing in six geoks of Wangdifoda, Shimgang, Mongar and Tongsazongkaks. This is the first activity of WWF-supported project Human Wildlife Conflict Management and Improving Food Security in Bhutan. A grant of 8.83 million item was signed with the government for the project. Sonam Chodin for BBS News.